Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm doing a get ready with me video. I have so many products that I've either been using or used out, used out, tried out once or twice and I just wanted to, I recently got the new Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia. I bought that at Ulta. So I wanted to give that a try. I've gotten some new foundations and I've used them once or twice. Um, already but you guys asked for me to try them out several times so I figured I'd try them at least in a video before I did a full video dedicated to them. If you can hear the rain it is storming so hard outside so um, yeah hopefully that, that doesn't get too bad but we're just going to do a get ready with me a chatty get ready with me. I also talked about a product um, from Patchology which is a brand I've been talking about on my channel for uh, a while now like a couple of years I've been trying their products I just love their brand and they are sponsoring this video I will be showing you a new product that they came out with a moisturizer it's a gel like moisturizer I have been loving it so I wanted to to share it with you on my channel and they were kind enough to sponsor this video so let's just go ahead and get into the video and start out with prepping which is my very first step every single time is I prep my skin with moisturizer because I have dry skin oh, Jesus did you guys hear that did you guys hear that thunder oh I don't know if it's good last time I filmed during a thunderstorm people were like uh, that was really distracting so Patchology is like known for beauty at the speed of you. You guys heard me talk about their flash eye patches that I use all the time. That's like one of my favorite prep things when I feel like I have bags under my eyes. Those are one of my favorite products because they're just so cooling, they're nice, they feel great, and they help with puffiness. Well, they recently came out with this daily gel moisturizer called Aqua Flash. So their motto is beauty at the speed of you. So whether you have five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you have, it's up to you how long you want to keep products on for. Like I know some of their masks are like five minute flash masks. And that's awesome because not a lot of people have 20 minutes to lay around with a mask on. I know sometimes I do, but I like sometimes if I want like a quick fix. So that's what I love about their brand is that they have it, whatever your pace is, whatever you have time for, and the minimum is five minutes. Something like a moisturizer, it's even less. So what I love about this is it is a gel moisturizer. It is a lightweight gel moisturizer. It gives a really clean, smooth feel to the skin. and it just it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy or sticky but it still gives that like ultra hydration that I'm searching for sometimes I hate when I put things on and then it's just like too sticky also I get these little bumps called milia if I use something that is too rich so gel moisturizers are like that perfect thing for me because I need the hydration but I don't need the heaviness that some other moisturizers have so I love the gel consistency of this it's also really pore friendly so if you have trouble with large pores this is really great on the skin because like I said it's not sticky it's pore friendly it's not gonna clog your pores um, I don't find that it gives me the those little milia bumps it just feels really nice and refreshing on the skin the three main ingredients that this has in it is hyaluronic acid aloe vera and then the other one I've never heard of this but it's called neem tree extract I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing neem tree extract right but those are the three main ingredients in it but it just has a really nice water gel base and it's already like it's not sticky it's already soaked in but my skin feels really hydrated. If you guys are interested in this moisturizer I am going to leave the link down below. I also have a 25% off discount code which I will leave listed down below with the link to this moisturizer. Okay let's just go ahead and move on to the eyes. Like I said I picked up the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. You guys I was not going to get this palette because a lot of the shades in it and the shadows in it are repeats from other palettes there's not I'm, I'm trying to look like I'm not quite sh exactly sure of some of the new shades but I know I've seen I have sienna burnt orange dusty rose tempura glistening orange soda mulberry nor honestly I feel like in all the palettes that I have I have so many of these shadows I've already seen before but I'd have to reach all into all those palettes to get them all in here this is a makeup lover who's justifying their purchase just so you know but what I thought in my mind was okay my job is to review makeup products a ton of people have asked me about this palette 
My favorite palette is the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. I would say it's a beautiful, great palette, but it has a lot of burnt oranges and reds and pinks in that palette that maybe not everyone's comfortable with. When I saw this palette, I thought this is a really nice everyday palette that if someone who was wanting to purchase an Anastasia palette and they were like, which one should I get? I would say this one is the Soft Glam palette is a nice everyday palette that doesn't seem intimidating. Especially if you're just like an everyday makeup wearer, you've heard so much about the Anastasia shadows and you're like, I just don't know because I don't know if I would use the Modern Renaissance one as much because of the red shades, you know? I mean, maybe so. And I think that it's kind of moving, the, the trends are changing and it's moving a little bit more to that soft glam look. So I think this is a great palette and for that reason I picked it up and I was like I'm gonna do a video on it so I have yet to use this however I've used the Anastasia palettes in the past I love every single one of them even the subculture palette a lot of people didn't like that one and I did so um, we're just gonna use this palette now I've already primed my eyes with max painter no I always say painterly because I'm so used to it but I primed my eyes with max soft ochre paint pot and this palette comes just like all of them with a nice mirror it comes with this little brush a uh, double-ended brush that most Ooh. sheesh double-ended brush that most palettes come with what if I can't film okay so that's nice sometimes I use this sometimes I don't maybe I should go in with it today just to see so I'm gonna pop between burnt orange and orange soda like I said, I love the Anastasia eyeshadows. I find that they just blend really well for me. Oh, that's scratchy. Super scratchy. Forget that. I'm going to go with the different. Okay, I'm going to take this one from Royal and Lena. I find that these eyeshadows just blend super well for me. Hopefully some of you out there love the sound of thunderstorms. And then there's going to be others that are like, Laura, this was a disaster. Why did you keep filming? But I apologize. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, look at how effortlessly this these eyeshadows apply. They just honestly do the work. There sometimes a lot of kick up on Anastasia eyeshadows. I do not doubt that, but I don't have issues when I'm blending them of them being patchy. They just blend so nicely for me, so I deal it with anything that has a little bit of kick up just by like tink, 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 tapping it off. But I mean, honestly, some days I could just go like this with some mascara and liner and that would be enough for This me. is just a great everyday palette. I'm going to do an easy everyday look, something that I would wear with this that I think is really achievable if you're someone who's really intimidated by a lot of the like eyeshadow looks. I'm gonna try and do something that I think is pretty easy with a palette that's user friendly. So I always start out doing that transition color that just helps um, I know when I first started makeup, I was like, what's this about transition? But you want to put like a matte shade in like in your crease and that just kind of helps lay a base for all other shades. It really frames out your eye look. Just think of it as like a picture frame sort of around your eye look. I'm going to take the color Rustic, which is a really beautiful, I would say mid-tone or cool tone brown shade. And I'm just going to put this right here on the outer portion of the eye you can stamp it and then do like small little circular motions and kind of work it in I'm not gonna bring it all the way in I'm just gonna kind of try and focus it right here and like bring it like halfway in uh, for this look now I have hooded eyelids so I like to like look straight forward and sort of see what's going to show when I have my eyes open so if you also have hooded eyelids that's a trick like I have I will apply eyeshadow and then I'll look straight forward to see like what's actually showing when my eyes are open. I'm gonna go ahead, apply that right there. I feel like I'm shouting because I'm trying to like talk over the rain. I should have filmed this earlier, but to be honest, if you guys are praying people, my mom is actually in the ER right now and she ha is having trouble with her blood pressure. She's like a really healthy person, like super fit and active, but she had a pacemaker put in like maybe two years ago. She hasn't had any trouble with it since, but she's traveling right now and ha her blood pressure spiked. She's not on blood pressure medication because it was under control. And uh, yes, 
anyway, so I was putting off filming because I was crying, to be honest with you. Because um, you know what's scary? It's my mom. She's like one of my best friends. So she is my bestest friend, my closest person to me. So I was, ugh, I'm stressed. But it wasn't raining this hard earlier today. And I was like... Before I found out, I'm like, oh, I should have been filming. I was dragging my feet watching, like, Vanderpump Rules. And um, then I got that phone call, and then it started raining. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to distract myself and film. But now I'm like, maybe I should have filmed earlier instead of watching Vanderpump Rules. Okay, I'm going back, and I'm just going to kind of blend all that, what we just put down, just really blend with that brush that we used with the orange soda on it. But I didn't put any additional product back on it. All right, I'm like toying between putting glistening on my eyes. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And fairy, which is more golden. So I think I'm gonna go with glistening and I'm just gonna take, this is a eye shading brush in E55 from Sigma. And I'm just gonna go in with this and just kind of put, that's really pretty, I like that a lot. I'm just gonna kind of put that right all over the lid. Honestly, I think this palette is like the epitome of the word soft glam. Like it really just does give you like that soft, it's not like too metallic, but it's just enough. It really gives you that like soft, soft glam look. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of that burnt orange shade and I'm just going to go around the edges. Man, that thunder though. We had a hailstorm here last week, so we have to get our roof replaced, like everyone in our neighborhood. We have the worst luck. We've had a hurricane, a tornado, a hailstorm, so we have to get our roof replaced, which is nuts. Like, a ton of people had to get their roofs replaced after the tornado, um, but almost everyone in our neighborhood has to get their roof replaced, which is crazy, but I'm glad it's getting, like it's supposed to hail again today, so I'm glad it's getting it out of its system before we get a new roof. So I'm like, uh, if I just got that new roof and then it hailed again, I'd be so angry. Okay, I tapped a little bit into that shade Rustic, and I'm just kind of cleaning that up. That's pretty much all we're going to do. I'm going to put on a little bit of liner, curl my lashes, and I'll be back to apply mascara. Okay, I'm going in with the Essence Lash Princess Lash False Effect Mascara. This has been a favorite of mine recently. I'm not going to put on false lashes in this video just because I feel like... I really want to just have like an everyday look. Sometimes I get comments like, oh, you know, I don't feel like lashes are intimidating to me and I really want to make this like an easy everyday wearable look that's not intimidating to people because I really think that this is going to be a great palette for people who are intimidated but really have wanted to try an Anastasia palette. Like this just seems like the perfect one with so many easy wearable shades in it. These Coastal Scents brushes were just sent to me. These are the Majestic 8-piece brush set. I think I'm gonna leave a link. Um, hopefully the sale is going on, but this is an 8-piece brush set and I think you can get them for a discounted rate. I'm going to put it on my uh, Insta stories on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Lola Lynn Mitchell. Um, but it's a great deal. So I'm going to use one of these little brushes. And I'm going to do under the brow bone. I forgot that, but this palette has one of my favorite colors in it. It's called Tempura. It's this really nice matte creamy shade. I, it has almost like this hint of like peachy pink to it. I just... I love it because it's so pigmented. I have to put that on and then kind of blend up again. But it's so, so pigmented and it just makes a really great brow bone highlight. If you're looking for a really nice matte brow bone highlight, it just cleans everything up and looks so good. So put that on and then we'll end a little bit since it is so pigmented. Okay, so let's move on to the face, and then once we're done with that, the concealer and everything, we'll go back to the under eyes. Okay, so I got this package from L'Oreal, and this is the Infallible Glow Lock Illuminating Primer Base Long Wear. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. It has like a squeeze tube. Ooh, it's like pinkish. Apply that. So since we like put our moisturizer on in the beginning of the video, it had time to like really sink in. 
seems like it has like a little bit of a glow to it. My face always gets so red right here whenever I'm rubbing it and tugging on it with new products. I always watch my videos when I'm editing it and I'm like, man, your face gets red. All right. It seems nice and glowy. I like that it's long wear, so that means it's going to keep my foundation on longer, give me a glowy base. Drugstore price doesn't really have a scent to it. That is really pretty glowy. Now, I got this from YSL. It's like all these foundations in a bunch of different shades, which I am going to do a full review on it. So I'm not going to go too much into depth in this video. But this is called the Touche Clot All-in-One Glow. Uh, it says it's a nat fresh, dewy makeup, natural, medium coverage, long-lasting, hydration, oil-free. I did see that they were calling this a tinted moisturizer in the little press information that they gave me. So I don't know how much coverage it has. I've used it one other time. I like it because it has a pump. This shade is B30. It might be a little bit too yellow for me, but this is the color that I used before. I did bring in my All Hours foundation, which I love. Um, this is, I think that this is just the all-in-one glow. It's the glowier, fresher, less coverage sort of pair to this. So I'm going to try just putting all of this on and then I might mix for a second layer just to see how it looks because I haven't worn it completely on its own yet. But I'm going to mix in maybe a drop with this because I do want a little bit more coverage than I think a product like this will give me. But let's try it out. This is, again, in B30. has a little pump. Almost smells like a YSL product if you've ever smelled that before. Okay, I'm going to just... It feels very like... Almost like very water-based very watery like it spreads out a lot but I want to just see that this color is pretty yellowy we're just gonna roll with it though I want to see I did two pumps on the back of my hand maybe I did three but it wasn't a ton of product but I'm just kind of wanted to move it in and I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender and kind of press that in so let's just see what kind of coverage this gives this might be a really great like I'm like a full coverage type girl. I really am. I like full coverage. I don't like it to look mask-like, but I have a lot of redness and discoloration on my skin. So when I'm doing a, a look, I just like my skin to be evened out. It's just my thing. This does look really pretty though and natural-like on the skin. It is giving a decent amount of coverage to it. I don't know. Maybe I won't need to go in with a little drop of that All Hours other foundation. Maybe I should just give this a full fair try, but I was going to try it out and then review it because a lot of people said, I don't want a first impressions. I want you to try it out. I want you to review it. Um, so I don't want to like maybe do that in the video, but this really could be my first impression as far as using it all alone so maybe I'll do that because then I can say oh hey look you got a first impression here and then a full review in another video I like it it looks actually really good honestly to be quite honest it's way better than I thought it would look I really really thought to myself this is not gonna be enough coverage that's why I didn't even give it a shot by itself yesterday I just like straight up mixed it with another foundation but I'm gonna go in with one more little pump and kind of put it right here on my face this color is really yellow there's two additional lighter shades that I'm looking at in that press kit that I'll probably need to try because this one just looks like it might be a little bit too yellow for my skin one pump honestly this spreads it spreads really well so uh yeah, this is nice. Feels really good on the skin. It is rather perfumey, so if you are sensitive to fragrances, uh, I'm just gonna warn you, this is a very perfumey uh, product. 
They call it, like I said, a tinted moisturizer, which to me automatically feels like, yeah, I'm not going to love tinted moisturizers because like I said, I'm like that person that's like, mm, there's not really a day in my life that I don't, that I don't want full coverage if I'm going to wear makeup at all. So I'm going to go in with the Touche Clot Concealer or, you know, Radiance product. This is the Radiant Touch. This one's in number one. Let's just give this a little, a little look. Oh man, this is one of those clicker ones. You're gonna gotta click, 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 and then finally it will come out. This looks really, really peachy. Super peachy on the hand. So this must be the brightener. Let's get that rolling. With this beauty blender, kind of press that in right there. That did a good job brightening, but it's a little bit pink, so I'm gonna wanna go in with a concealer shade. Okay, this is number 15. This is what I'm talking about. So this is more of the concealer shade. I'm gonna go with, in with this one on top. Yes, that's more of what I need. Yeah, that's giving us some brightness under the eyes. So I want to use this from Jar Cosmetics. I've used this, like I just got it in from them. This is the Kiss Assist Lip Plumper. Before we go in with lip products, I want to put this on right now. Holy crap, this stuff is so strong. It's like very, very cinnamony. If you don't like lip plumper, plumpers, I don't know if I can recommend this to you because it literally like almost burns your lips at first and you're like, ooh, but I'm that person who like loves a good lip plumper. So I'm going to go under my eyes with this is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I'm just going to set with my damp beauty blender a little bit under the eyes. I don't do too much because it settles into my fine lines, but I just kind of do just a little bit else I will get creasing. I'm gonna take this Makeup Forever um, Aqua XL liner. You can use a nude, which is what I typically do, but I've been doing that a lot recently in my videos. So I am gonna go in with this brown shade. I typically don't ever go in with a black. I just find browns look better on me. This is the M60. I'm gonna take the shade Burnt Orange and Orange Soda. I'm just gonna mix those two together and blend that out. That's really all I want to do under there, and I already just made it super smoky. So if you want to keep this a little bit more every day, maybe skip this under eye part, part use a nude. That will keep you looking really, really fresh and every day. Like, this maybe makes it a little bit more, like, soft glamish. So I'm going to concentrate more with the orange soda color. Something just dropped right there. Holy crap, it stopped stormy but that was like an intense storm hit my lower lashes with a little bit of mascara and then i do want to go in my inner corner with the shade we have on our lid that glistening shade i'm just going to kind of pop that right in the inner corner that's like a nice soft shade I think I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This one is just the regular Chocolate Soleil. Um, I, sometimes I like the milk chocolate one, but we're going to go in with this one. I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown bronzer brush, and I'm not even lying to you. I used this in another video, and I told you guys, this brush sheds really, really bad, um, and it's kind of hard on the face. So I don't know why I continue to use it, but it's one of the only bronzer brushes that I brought in this room. I need to get another one in here. If you're looking for a great bronzer brush, it's affordable. I really like the Real Techniques um, blush brush, and it says it's the blush brush, but I use it for bronzer. It's really nice. I use it almost every day. Like, I just don't have it in this room. And this isn't where I get ready. I get ready in my bathroom. Um, so yeah, that's a great one. But this one is uh, scratchy on the face. It's $50. And I'm like, why does everyone hype this brush up? It's just not good in my opinion. Uh, I love the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. That's a great everyday bronzer. Also, the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula is another alternative from the drugstore. Um, it's kind of expensive, honestly, for the drugstore, but it's a great bronzer. It's like $14, but I do highly recommend it. Okay, I was looking to see if I had any blushes that were new, and I don't. So I'm going to go into my Laura Geller blushes and use the shade Pink Grape. Oh, 
please don't break. Oh, thank God. Use the shade Pink Grapefruit. The, these blushes from Laura Geller are literally just the best. They're so overlooked, I feel like. They're just such nice blushes and no one really ever talks about them but those Laura Geller baked blushes are where it's at. I think the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty they're going to be on sale so keep your eye out on those deals. Okay for a highlighter I'm going to go into this Collab Beauty highlighter. I think I've used this once. It's in the shade Glow for the Gold and you can find Collab makeup at Sally's. So we're going to get that going. Ooh. That's really pretty. I guess I forgot. It's really pigmented. Everything uh, in their line, I believe this is $9.99. Everything in their line is under $15, I believe. So, really good products. I've tried out all a lot of their products in a video, so I'll try and leave that in the cards and link it so that you guys can see that video if you're interested. I don't really feel like going in with like a super big lip. I just kind of want to go in with this nude on top of that gloss and then go back in because I just want a nice everyday look. This is the Doll Face um, lipstick from Too Faced, their Peach Perfect Collection. Okay, also really, really quick on my upper lashes, just to kind of darken it up in the outer corner, I'm going to take the shade Noir. I love that they included like a really deep uh, cypress umber brown and a really nice deep black in this palette. Again, those are two like really, really staple colors that you need. And I'm just going to softly do that right here on the outer corner. Because I didn't do a wing liner, I just want to darken that up just a little bit. Oh my gosh, it looked like I have a chin hair because of that Bobbi Brown brush. I mean, I probably do have a chin hair, but it's not that long. Holy crap. Okay, so this is the finished look using the Soft Glam Palette. I really, really love this a lot. I Honestly, I just really think it's going to be like a great everyday palette. I'm looking at my foundation in the mirror, and I like it. It's really nice and glowy. It's not, like I said, it's not as full coverage. I'm gonna kind of rub that line in a little bit. Uh, it's. I can kind of see it sitting around my skin, like right here. Like, um, I have a blemish right there. It's not really doing a great job. Honestly, I just prefer more coverage. I do think it does look nice and glowy and fresh, but I think that I would just like just like a eh, touch more coverage. So. But it is really, really pretty on its own. I'm going to have to see how it wears. So this will be my first impression. I will leave in the information box below a little bit more about my first impression. And then I will follow up with a full review. I'll swatch all of the shades of that YSL foundation just for anyone who is interested in that. So that video will be to come. But so far, I really like it. This highlighter, holy crap, this kind of snuck up on me. This one from, I've used it before, the Filter Highlighting Powder Glow for the Gold pick that up if you can from collab beauty holy crap that's really really nice um but so far i really like this you guys this little lip plumper like i said if you if you like lip plumpers and you like that like really like stinging feeling it's not a minty feeling it's like cinnamony but it is like woo! it's a big it's a big time one you might really like that so um so far so good again i'm loving this gel moisturizer the aqua flash from patchology check below in the link and the discount code if you want 25 percent. thanks again for patchology for working with me on this video i really appreciate it thanks again for all of you guys who took the time to watch if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe down below and i will see you all in the next video Mwah.